Getting started with Dackboard is easier than you think. In this guide, I'll walk you through screens, devices, and blocks, the key pieces that bring your custom display to life. Your screen is the digital layout you create and customize within your Dackboard account. It's where you design what your display will show, such as calendars, weather, photos, to-do lists, and more. Free subscription accounts have access to a predefined screen with limited customization options. Paid subscription accounts, Essential and Plus, offer the custom screen editor, giving you full design control. You can create and preview your screen in real time, adjust resolution, and arrange blocks to your liking with updates visible immediately. Your device is the physical hardware that displays your Dackboard screen. What makes Dackboard different is your device is not limited to one single product, so it can be the size or style that fits your unique needs. Some devices run Dackboard OS or DAC OS, our custom operating system that makes setup easy and adds features like scheduled on-off times and improved performance. If you're using a non-DAC OS device, like a smart TV, tablet, or computer browser, you can still display your Dackboard screen. Just keep the device powered on and connected to the web. While you can create multiple Dackboard screens in your account, each device can only display one screen at a time. But you can easily switch which screen is shown. A block is a single piece of content that makes up your custom screen. Each block has a purpose, so think of these as the building blocks that bring your screen to life. Blocks are fully customizable. You can change their size, font and color, swap data sources, or update content at any time. This flexibility lets each block reflect what's most important to you. As you add and arrange different blocks, you can build a screen that's uniquely yours. On the right side of your editor, you'll see a column called Block Layers. Blocks lower in the list appear in the background, while those higher appear in the foreground. Adjusting these layers helps you organize content visually and functionally. For example, placing a calendar on top of a photo background. This is especially important to keep in mind if you're using touchscreen functions. By combining placement, sizing, and layering, you can create a display that's both personal and practical. You've learned the basics, so now it's time to build your Dackboard screen. What's something you'd like to see in a future tutorial? Let us know in the comments.